We have the wonderful ex McDonald's worker turned stand up comedian. It is Jesse. Hey everyone, how are we doing tonight? Woo! Looking out at this audience, I see a lot of people that haven't been here before, so thank you for coming. Uh, and I just want to let you know before I start that uh, I don't see color. And that's because I'm colorblind. Um, and before you get to pointing at things and asking me what it looks like, um, I'd just like to bring a bit of clarity. Colorblindness is kind of like in TV shows when they go to a different country and they're like, oh, we're in Mexico now, so it's orange. Um, and they'll put a bit of a filter over it. I live in a constant state of Eastern European blue. Um, it's like I'm always in Bulgaria. I can't get out. Uh, and the thing about my colorblindness, though, is that that's pretty mild. And I didn't really notice it for a while, and my parents even told me that I had been tested. And I didn't really believe them until I was about 12. Uh, and you know how gay people say, like, oh, you know, like, it was kind of always there, there were signs, and then eventually one person kind of changes everything, and then, you know, you can't go back? Uh, basically what I'm saying is my sixth grade science teacher gave me my gray awakening. <laughs> I remember exactly what I was wearing. I was wearing a red shirt, khakis, and this uh, very definitely, keep that in mind, absolutely gray jacket. And she looks around the room and she goes, this is what she says. She goes, wow, Jesse, you're in the only one in the room who celebrated St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> now, I don't know if this is what it's like for gay people, but my vision went like 0.5. Like, I was Neo from the Matrix. I had taken the red pill. There was no going back. In that moment, I really knew what it meant to be Mr. Anderson. And uh, speaking of movies, let's just cut the shit. There were more than 50 Shades of Grey. I counted at least two more. <laughs> While we're on the topic of movies, um, there was this one movie I watched a few years back. And you know how they show the studios at the start, like Lionsgate or 20th Century or whatever? This one, they put their logo in one of those colorblind dot tests. Why the fuck would you do that? Now there's just like a good portion of people who are like, man, that was a great movie, but I don't know who made it. And I'm one of them. And what annoys me even more about those colorblind dot tests is that they don't really tell you how colorblind you are or what you struggle with. They just tell you that you are colorblind. And I feel like that's the only thing that a doctor can't tell you specifically. Like, I don't even know if my doctor knows I'm colorblind. And if you imagine like a doctor coming into like a, their office and you come in and you're reading the eye chart and you're, you know, you're fucking up, F, Q, P, red, 27, and they go to you, you know, I don't think you have 20-20 vision. Oh, do I need glasses? I don't fucking know. Like, that's what it's like to be colorblind. Like, these doctors can walk into a room after a two-week vacation and a two-hour lunch break there's a guy lying down, cut open, he's got lung cancer. They're like, all right, give me 50 milligrams of 20 degrees semi-fluid hydrochloric acid. And then I tell them I can't see turquoise and they're like collapsing. <laughs> and uh, the other thing that really annoys me is that people think that I need to prove to them that I'm colorblind, like it's some sort of game. Are you serious? Like I dead ass spent years, and I'm not talking like, oh, I was like five or six, I'm, I was 17. I spent years thinking, Purple mattresses, you know the company? I thought they were blue. And I was sitting there, you know, I, I, you know, I'd be on my TV, I'd be sitting there like, you know, man, they really missed out on a really solid marketing opportunity. They really dropped the ball on this one. And it, and it hit me like two years ago that I, I had had it wrong the entire time. And I was like, man, I, I thought I was good at this. Um, now, before I leave you all tonight, I just wanna leave you with one thing, one important piece of knowledge. Colorblindness is real. It's not pretend like lactose intolerance. <laughs> Don't worry, I can say that because I'm a lackey. But I hope tonight I've been able to make colorblindness a little less of a gray area for you all. Thank you. <laughs>